Do you want to know how to review the first 15 minutes of your audiobook in ACX? Well, in this video, I will show you how to review, how to submit changes, and how to approve your first 15 minutes in ACX. So stick around. Hey everybody, it's Keith Wheeler here. And if you want to continue to get all the hints, tips, and tricks on how to make self-publishing a little bit easier to navigate, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you get notified each and every time I put out new content. So, previous video, I talked about ACX, and I'll include a link to it here. So, you've put your book on ACX, you've found a narrator, and you just got an email telling you that the first 15 minutes is ready for your review. I'm gonna show you how to review it, so I'm gonna flip the screen around, and we're gonna get started. So the first thing you're going to do is log into your ACX account. Once you're in your ACX account, you're going to click on your projects and that will bring you to this page. Once you're on this page, you will see that right now I have one in production because I received my email telling me that my first 15 minutes is ready for my review. So now I'm going to click on in production. Now that I've clicked in production, I can see it tells me I, I can review my first 15 minutes. And I'm going to click on this hyperlink. this brings me to my first 15 minutes and here's the recording ready for my review and I can see it's a little over 13 minutes long now one thing you need to make sure that you do is you put in good headphones it doesn't matter how quiet your room is you absolutely want good quality headphones so you can hear any clicks pops um, any kind of background noise remember this is your last chance to give them any kind of feedback before they finish your entire project. Now this project, as you can see, is estimated to be about 1.2 hours long. So I want to listen to this first 15 multiple times to make sure that everything is, is caught before he spends his time doing the rest of it. Now this particular book is a nonfiction book, so you don't have to worry about so many about voices and stuff like that like the different characters like you would for a fiction book but still you want to make sure that you listen to it multiple times now the first thing I do when I listen to it is I will listen to it all the way through with my book and I'll read along as I'm listening to make sure that they didn't miss any words also perhaps they said a word that's not in your book you know, maybe your book is missing words that's the first time I listen to it. Then I'll usually wait at least a couple hours, if not a full day, and I'll listen to it again without reading along and just listen to the voice. And if there's any kind of changes you want to make, this is the time to do it. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to listen to this a couple times. And when I come back is when I will show you how to give your feedback, positive or negative, to your narrator. Okay, so. I've listened to the first 15 minutes multiple times. Like I said before, the first time I went through read, reading along with it, um, I did notice that the narrator changed some of the wording, um, took out some words that I had in there, while it actually sounded better his way than it was in my actual manuscript. Um, I am going to approve the, this first 15 minutes but I'm also going to send him a message and let him know that I noticed that. Because just in case he's doing it unintentionally, like if he's just missing words. If he's doing it intentionally, that's fine. I, I trust his experience. And like I said, it, it's making it flow better. So I'm not going to tell him to change it, to fix it. But again, I want to bring it to his attention just in case he wasn't aware of it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to approve. Click here to approve. And then I'm also going to send him a message letting him know. And once I approve it, then he's going to start working on the rest of the book. And we have already set up the dates when I sent him the original offer. Um, I sent the uh, first 15 minutes date, which he's actually about two days early in delivering this, which I'm excited about. And then we also set the date for when the final file is due. 
Now I will say this, before I set those dates, I always message them through the system to see what is reasonable with their schedule. I don't want to set unrealistic expectations at all. So, um, you know, it just, it's the communication back and forth that really makes this work. So that's it for how to review the first 15 minutes of your audiobook. Make sure if you like this, you give it a thumbs up. Also remember, if you want to continue to get all the hints, tips, and tricks on making self-publishing a little bit easier to navigate through, then be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get alerted each and every time I put out new content. So until next time, remember to write right.